Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of our Fairy Core Let's Play. I am starting off today in a new room I dug out. <laughs> so even though we only really just finished the Hobbit Hole not long ago, my chests in the other little room are so full already. So I thought we'd start off today's episode by making a new storage room and I've put all the walls and the floor together and I've finished the floor through here. Don't look at these other rooms, they're really ugly. <laughs> Haven't finished those yet. I did when digging find a random oni randomonium ore and I have a um, silk tuck to pick now so that's exciting because I in between episodes did get a little bit of diamond armor together um, with some pretty basic enchants, but that's okay. And then I do have this pretty cool um, pickaxe now, but I would love to put mending on it. That's the only thing. Oh, and I'm breaking three as well, actually. That's the only thing that's really missing. But I thought I would save this to do with you all, so. <laughs> oh, and it is some red concrete lattice love that okay <laughs> back to the storage room i was just gonna like line the walls with chests and that's obviously what i'm still doing but i thought i'd try to do something a little bit different seeing as we're in modded and trying to be all cute and fairy core so i've got a rainbow of chests I'm um, still missing a few colors, so I'm gonna have to. Well, not a few colors, but a few chests in some of the colors. Um, so I'll have to fix that up. But for now, I think we can get started anyway. So we're gonna do pink. There was a few wood types I would have liked to have used, but I don't have yet. Like the jacaranda. Obviously this is jacaranda, but that's the biome of plenty's jacaranda. There's a different one from mystic's biomes so that's a different purple. And I would have liked that instead of these umbran ones just for this rainbow, but yeah, I haven't found that biome yet. So that's that. And you might be wondering, well, L, you're not going to be able to open the top ones, but I already thought of that. And it's technically a slab, so even though it's a bottom slab, I can still open it. So I think that's pretty cool. We'll keep going along this wall. How pretty is this colour? So it's one of the, obviously the modded ones, but you use glowstone to make glow wood and it like has this really cool teal color. I thought that one was so pretty. And then I was going to use the azalea wood um, for the green one, but it is a pretty green, but it looks like that. Whereas the rest look like actual chests. So... I'm a bit bummed that that doesn't look like a normal chest, otherwise I definitely would have worked that colour into the rainbow. But I'll have to use those for something else, I think. I obviously didn't have a whole lot of green wood, and some of these modded woods I need to make with oak wood, and I actually was struggling a little bit to get enough of that as well. I wasn't struggling, but it's just a bit of a grind um, to get enough of some of the oak wood this one's really pretty so that's the yellow modded wood that's yeah i really like that and then we finish off with a red it's still quite an orangey red so that's why i put it next to the orange instead of down next to the pink so i have to check if i have any more oak wood just to finish off maybe that last green one so we can sort of see what the chest wall is going to look like because I accidentally made a whole heap of oak planks and then didn't realize I needed oak wood blocks instead. So I think I might have a couple, but maybe I don't have enough. No. Okay, I might have a quick nap and grab a few more of those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got a little bit more and some green wood. So if we make the green log from... It's from the cluttered mod, just by the way, these colored diable oak ones. So I'll make that and then the planks are kind of expensive which is a bit of a bummer oh see that's still not enough okay um i better make one more but then i need eight logs so if i get a sapling and a bit of bone meal okay. 
We'll quickly just grow another tree. Boop and boop. Okay. Perfect. So now, yeah, can do that. And then that, and then that only makes one. So it's kind of expensive, but I think it'll be worth it. I'll put the bone meal away. And I just have more random junk chests. Don't look at them. <laughs> there. So I think that's going to be really cute. And then I'm definitely going to put item frames on each chest to kind of like show what's inside. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side, but I am running a little bit low on some of the wood. So I might just do that off camera because I have other things I'd like to do today. But yeah, what do you think of the rainbow chest? Is it silly or is it cute? I don't really know. <laughs> Pop that away, I don't need that. Oh, another thing I got as well from a skeleton is, you might notice I have a quiver. So I thought that was super cute. And I thought it still kind of went with the fairy vibes. So now um, if you're like doing, whoop, boop. <laughs> um, which I think, I forget which button it is, but there is a button to change which arrows you're using. No, not that one. Oh, whoops, I'm using slow slowness arrows. But anyway, yeah, uh, the quiver is pretty cool. <laughs> I am supposed to wear it on my um, back, like a backpack, but I have my backpack on my back, so I didn't want to do that. Um, but it still just looks cute on like your player if you just have it in your inventory, which is really cool. But today I think, oh, there's my other arrow. <laughs> Did I just go back? I must have gone back in my quiver. Cool. Um, yeah, today I think I want to just do a bit more exploring. So obviously like off camera, I explored all the way down south, but I'm thinking we might go west today. I'm not sure if I should teleport to that way stone or if I should just start walking but yeah I might try to unlock it well not it doesn't really unlock but show and explore this sort of part of the map um so yeah I guess I'll just start walking I might get around or over this mountain um off camera because I've already sort of been around here and I think you guys have seen most of this and then when we start uncovering new terrain, I'll jump back on and we'll have a bit of an explore. There's just so many really cool like biomes that I still haven't found because there's like a lot in the modded stuff. Um, oh my god, there is fairy dragons everywhere. Like so many. I'm not complaining, but I'm just like, why is there so many? It's so random. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to explore like heaps more biomes, try to find new stuff. And definitely if we could find some more waystones, I was having trouble finding more of those down in the south part. Um, but yeah, I don't really have the resources to craft any waystones yet. Hopefully I'll have some soon, but just, yeah, only at the moment I'm just finding random ones. All right. So. Oh, I forgot she was up here. Maybe we should tame her, her later as well. A medium sized one. Are they, I'm not sure if that extra large one's still back in that other area. And I'm just rambling now. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, we're basically at the spot where we're starting to uncover some new map to the west. I love this modded, updated, old growth birch forest i think they're so cool with these mushrooms and the logs and everything and i know on the map just to the north of here is one of like the magical biomes that we um uncovered previously i think over here might be dark oak actually i should probably go get some of that i don't think i have that yet you can see that on the little map i think it's dark oak well like a dark oak forest Maybe just up here. Yeah. 
probably should have brought more axes, but I do have backup iron, so if we cut down too many trees, that's okay. <laughs> so I'll get a little bit of that, maybe another one or two, just so I have enough saplings, because that's kind of the hardest part with dark oak. Because these leaves aren't breaking down. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I love the little jacaranda flowers, but I think I already have some of those at home. So I'll leave that for now and I'll pop that. Oh, do I still not have enough? Oh, I still don't have enough saplings. Um, I guess I could just punch some leaves. <laughs> Cause yeah, my ax is like already broken. There we go. That's better. Oh, there's more up here. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, and some more of the jacaranda. Okay. Or the wisteria. Wisteria, sorry. Similar to the jacaranda. I love jacaranda and wisterias, both of them. So that's exciting. Pop all that in my backpack. Yeah, so if we go to the north, that's the... Where is it? Mystic Grove. So yeah, we've already kind of been there, but I think I want to head maybe... Well, I guess we could just keep going like straight west, I think. Oh my gosh, hello. Are you our friend? Oh my god, they're so cute! Hi! I'm not sure how to tame these guys. Let me have a quick check. Okay, so I just need bone meal, which I actually have brought. I've brought quite a bit of stuff I knew I would need for taming different creatures. So, oh, it's getting dark though. Oh my god, there's a red one. You can both be my friends. And I need to quickly sleep. Dark forests are scary. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I just love all the flowers. <laughs> okay. So I'm hoping they're just going to follow me now, so that's cool. Do you, you guys just follow me? Yep, you coming? Okay. <laughs> it's so cute. So we'll see how many creatures we pick up along the way. <laughs> oh, I am heading a bit too south. We need to go more west. Shrubland. We already know about shrubland. Also, if we find any other like structures and stuff, that would be really cool too. So I'm not sure if they'll swim, but otherwise, hopefully, they'll just teleport across. Oh no, it looks like they do swim, and then they'll teleport. Awesome. <laughs> Stay away from that lava. I don't want them to burn. So we'll head through this mystic fire. So cute. I love that there's just like little magic particles in the air in this biome too. It's so pretty. Looks like there's another dark woods over there. Shrublands are cool, but they're just like a little bit hard to walk through because of all of the <laughs> like really low shrubby trees which I guess like obviously makes sense but it's just a bit hard to oop a little bit of a ravine there so this looks like a pretty big shrub lens which is fine oh it looks like there's a village over there a village is supposed to have waypoints does anyone know because the last two villages I saw I didn't find any waypoints, but there was a waypoint nearby at that library, so it wasn't too bad, but I would really love it if they had extra waypoints in them so I could travel to them easily. This looks like a pretty big village. That's cool. We'll have a little a look around. Try not to fall into any ravines. Cause yeah, it would be cool if there was a waypoint like in the center near the town bell. Oh my god, there's a bee guy. <gasps> a beekeeper. <gasps> Strawberries. Yes. I don't know if I have cassava yet. Take all of that. 
Let's chop down this tree so they can get out. <laughs> oh, it's not breaking down. I will save you villagers. Whoa, that's a bit broken. <laughs> oh, hi. I think I'm good. I'll definitely like to explore some of the new villager professions um, from one of the, the more villager job mod later, but I don't think I'll do that just yet. What else is around here? Excuse me, just having a look around. Is there anything up here? Just a little farm area. That's cute. So, heading west. Still just so much shrubland. <laughs> and then grassland. There's plains up there. More of the mystic grove that way. That's interesting. Alright, we'll just keep heading west. That's not west. This is west. <laughs> Oh whoa, that like water looks so cool reflecting onto the wall like that. Which way should I go? I'll try to stick to land as much as I can because I'm not sure how far the spallings will teleport to me if I go in a boat because I can only obviously take one with me in a boat. <laughs> so that makes it a little bit harder. How cool are these giant clovers? I um, got some from a different area near base. You can like shear the leaves and then you can put the leaves down individually or make up the giant clover pattern. I think they are so cool and I think they're very fairy cool. So I'll definitely have to use some of those um, in decoration like near our base or something. All right, I'm gonna keep wondering and if I find anything interesting, I will come back. Look what I just found! We're in another savannah, but there's two summer pixies. There's another one over there. So that's so cute. So yeah, I really need to get the orb things going so I can um, capture them, I guess. <laughs> Not really sure if I'm finding much over here that I haven't already found. It just seems to be like a lot of warm biomes, which is fine. But I was just hoping for something a little bit different. Like Savannah and Scrubland. We've seen that like a thousand times already. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're sort of getting out a little bit. Old growth woodland. All right, I guess I'll keep going. A wildflower. They're really cute. I like those colors. I'm a sucker for anything pink or purple. <laughs> Waystone! Yay! Okay. That's so good. All right. So I'll activate it. I'll leave it here just because it's going to be helpful to have one out west. So we're in Scrubland. West. Cool. Just so that if we do need to come out this way later on, it's, you know, always helpful to have a few more waystones around. I could deforest a bit of this to stock up on oak wood, actually. <laughs> All right. So it looks like this comes to a bit of an end up here. Yep. That's all right. All right. So I might head... I guess north and then kind of like come back a bit. I guess that, that makes sense. I think I have found one of the other lavender biomes. Oh my gosh. So I know we have a lavender biome at home, but this one has the different flowers and different 
trees. So these flowers are technically different to the ones we have at home. But what I'm most excited for is these trees. Look at them. So these are the different jacaranda tree to the one we have before. And these should have the more purple wood inside. So hopefully the saplings work the same way, but now they're not. Oh, there must be another log somewhere. Maybe. Or are they just not breaking? Oh no, is that? No, that's not a log. Why aren't they breaking? <laughs> I need the saplings. Um, all right, I'll try. Is there logs? They look dark in there, but I don't think there is. We'll try another tree. Nope, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break all the leaves. Oh, I have got saplings anyway. Okay, awesome. So I'll definitely have to get some more of these lavender flowers as well. Like I said, they are technically different to the ones we have at home. Petals falling from these ones are so cute too. Uh, I just I love purple things. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, look how big it is. Oh, it's so pretty. So I was kind of working my way around um, the coastline here, but I'm not sure if I should just double back or if I should keep going. I'd love, love, love to find the strawberry fields biome as well. That would be so cool. That's not it down there, is it? Oh my gosh, it is. Let's go. No way. And there's a village there too. That's cool. I'd love to find a waystone over here. I wonder if there's going to be any strawberry cows. Oh, there's a library that'll have a waystone. Oh my gosh. Look, it's a strawberry field. It's only a little tiny one, but it's still so cute. I don't know how to get these. I don't know if I have to shear them. Uh, oh, wrong button. Sorry. I'm just too excited. <laughs> no? I don't know how to use these ones. Wait, there's a bunny. Should I? I don't want to kill it, but I also want to get the ferret from at home. Oh my god, no way. What is that? And there's a spring fairy. <laughs> it's a pink hamster. That's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, and there is strawberry cows. Quick, let's go. There's too much to look at. I'm getting too excited. I don't even know how to be able to get to get be. Oh, I don't even know how I'd be able to get one home. But if we click on a strawberry cow with our bucket, we get a strawberry milk bucket. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I also will need. Obviously, some of this. Oh no, my pickaxe broke. Okay. Oh, there's more of the lavender fields up there. <gasps> this is so pretty. All right, quick. Um, where's the spawn point? <laughs> I mean, the waystone. I'm getting too excited. I don't even know what words are. What is that? <gasps> They're different strawberry bushes. Ooh, that's from a different mod, but definitely need those. Are they white strawberries? I think there's two different strawberries. Oh no, okay, so they're just not grown yet. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then we can eat the strawberries. Okay. Let's rename this one to... Strawberry Fields. 
Ah, that's so exciting! But yeah, I still have no idea what to do with these strawberry plants because you punch, you can't right click on them, punch them, nothing happens, shear them, nothing happens. So I am confused. Do I just have to get lucky and get seeds? I don't want to destroy them all. Okay, that one is different. So that one's got strawberries. Can I then... I can plant the strawberry. Okay. But if I punch it, nothing happens. Interesting. But how do I get the pink ones? That's not a strawberry. But look at the pink cows! They're so cute! And it's so cute that there's a spring fairy over there at the moment as well. Oh, this is an ant nest. That's cool, but I also don't want to get bitten by an ant. I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, tree. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I probably should just craft another axe. That would probably be quicker than me punching this tree, but here we are. Just punching the tree. Cute. Okay. Ooh, lots of saplings. Oh no! Ah! No! Stop attacking me, Ant! No! I think I killed it. <laughs> that was scary. Um, okay, so where should I go next? There's an orchard up there, that's cool. Oh, and the village as well. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's eating. That's too cute. And there's a kitty up here. Ooh, jungle. Let's go have a look over there. Oh my gosh, what is that tree? Oh my gosh, what is that bird? <gasps> no way, a hummingbird. That is so cute. Wait, do you eat seeds? No? <gasps> Come back, I want you to be a friend. No, oh my god. That is so cute. What are these trees? Mahogany. Ooh. I don't know why I get so excited about the different wood types. Am I the only one? <laughs> oh wow, that cut down a lot. Uh, maybe a little bit too much. Oh my god, look at the little hummingbird! I can't deal. Oh my gosh, it's like pollinating flowers or something? Are you sure you don't want any seeds? I would love me some drip leaf though. Hello? There's another mushroom dealer over there or fun guy as someone in the comment section was calling them in a different video <laughs> which was just hilarious. What is that? Oh my god, there's monkeys. There's monkeys trying to get at the bananas. <laughs> oh my gosh. How am I going to get over there? Um, I don't think I have bamboo yet, so that would be exciting. It's like so far down. Um, oops, a daisy. Okay. I guess we're just doing it. Oh. Piranha? No way. Have to watch out for the bamboo creeper. What is a sparkling forest? Let's go that way, please. Um, I forget how hard it is to be around bamboo. <laughs> Um, how am I going to get through all of this? 
I love jungles, but they're not the easiest to get around. Whoever made the ambient sounds mod put way too many um, Australian bird sounds in there. <laughs> like, I know this is kind of jungly, but it's a bit different to Australian jungles. I'm <laughs> just saying. More bananas. I think I already have some of those at home from when I was exploring like the deserty areas. They had some. Ooh, there's a blue dragon fairy, I think. Where'd you go? It was flying somewhere up there, I swear. But what is this place? Okay, this looks like it must be a biome from the dragon stuff, maybe? Blue vine, yeah, a dragon mod, okay. Why is it just floating like that? <laughs> oh, that one up the top. Um, excuse me. What is that? Blue blossom, okay. Sparkling vines? All of this looks really cool and magical. Axe? Yeah, okay, I can do it with an axe. Good to know. <laughs> I probably should pay attention. Um, what else? Some of this stuff? There we go. What is this? Oh, very shiny. Okay. Don't know if I need these, but I'll grab some anyway. Wait, can I climb this? Oh, I can. That would make more sense then to like break it. So there's like a bit of the red one and there's a diamond, I mean obsidian dragon egg. Should we get it? Okay, let's just get it. And some of this stuff. Dragon litter block. Oh. <laughs> supposed to be using an axe. Yep, okay. Whoa. Did that kill my spallings? Let the red spalling go. Oh, you're over there. Okay. Phew! Yeah, okay. So that's pretty interesting, but I haven't really delved into much of that stuff yet. Um... Okay, so on here we have a big Scarlet Hills. Okay, so that's like a huge area of where the dragons live. That's good to know. Forest, more jungle. So I guess I might start heading back down this way a bit. So like southeast, I guess. Yeah. Let's do that. I'll start heading back kind of towards home and see where we end up. Oh, just found a ruby dragon egg. So I may as well grab that. Mm. Grab some more of this stuff. I feel like we'll probably need it. Okay, off I go again. <laughs> so I've just come across another library and I came around here to activate the waystone. And it looks like there is library. Another extra large Gorgogora over here. And also one of those little shrine thingies. So, I think we should try and tame her. Mm, bone meal. Yay! Okay. So that's cool. <laughs> and then over here... I 
I don't know if I should just leave it because I don't have any spectral cakes to tame it if it's a wisp. I mean a spook. Um, or I could just silk touch it I guess. I forgot that's what was happening there. Okay, I guess we'll take it home. That's cool. <laughs> um, so we're about here. So I guess I'll keep walking just to unlock that little bit of the map there. And I'll be back with you all when I get home. I'm really close to home, but I just found a brown mushroom. Oops, sorry. Brown mushroom girl. So do you need bone meal or are you a zombie flesh kind of girl? Um, hi. hi. Wait, come back. Yay. So now we've <laughs> got quite the entourage. And I'll just keep heading home. <laughs> Okay, we're home now and the big Gorgogora only just fits in our house, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, where did my spoilings go? Are they here somewhere? Okay, there they are. Uh, you can just sit down for a minute. No, no, go that way. And you can sit down also. And I'm going to have to get a bed. For the little mushroom girl. Pick you up and pop you in here. Um, can't. Mm, I'm gonna have to get one of those ones. Station carpet. Okay. I forget how to make those again. <laughs> Stay. Oh. Station carpet, nuggets, and red carpet. That's right. Okay. I had nuggets. I'll put a little bit <laughs> stuff away. My pockets are so full. Um, I guess the bamboo can go in there as well. Do I still have red carpet? Yes. Perfect. Uh, oh, what am I doing? There we go. So, I'll see if she can just like sit, I guess, there for now. Is she still gonna be like huge even when she's sitting? Can you go that way, please? There we go. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, she does need a lot of room. <laughs> but we've got so many little friends now. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can probably go over here a little bit more too. Or just follow me this way. No, you're supposed to come this way. I have to remember which one's which. I want to go to that one over there, so it's to the east. Yeah, okay. So on the map near here, there is this little circle, and I'm thinking maybe it's a fairy circle. So if I head south this way, I'll go have a look. I have no idea um, what happens if you find a fairy circle, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, I'm kind of scared that something bad might happen. Do I just go like in it? No, is, is this just, just it? I mean, it's very cute. <laughs> We're in a fairy circle. <laughs> oh, I thought something was going to happen. Oh well, it's still cute. <laughs> so that's where I might leave today's episode. In between episodes, I promise I will sort out my storage once and for all. <laughs> oh my god, there's an axolotl back there. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, sorry, distracted. Um, yeah, so in between episodes, I will sort out my storage 
and yeah next episode i think we're gonna go back into the nether it's spooky but i do need some blaze rods so i think i should probably get around to doing that so i won't blame you if you want to skip the nether episode because it's not as cozy and cute but yeah thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already a lot of people watch my videos especially this fairy core um, series but aren't subscribed so it would mean so much to me if you could subscribe and thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye